barracks troops, the very first units that you're introduced into the game. There are a total of 10 in the game, and today it is my job to rank all 10 of them in the game. A little bit of a side note, these are all my opinion. If you guys disagree, just let me know in the comments and let me know your ranking. And without further ado, let's get into the ranking. Number 10, the assault vehicle. Man, is this thing just not disappointing. I thought it would be a hybrid between a heavy tank and a heavy cavalry unit, and it kinda is. But it doesn't do its job very well. It has low hit points and does moderate damage at best. And this thing has a little bit of splash damage. But the problem with this thing, it gets overwhelmed easily by Defender. Oh, and if you thought you could boost this thing with your museum, think again, because they decided to not add any assault vehicle museum benefits in the game. The only way to buff this with your museum is all barracks troop damage, which there are only two artifacts in the game that do this, and they are both legendary artifacts. So they are not easy to obtain, making this thing in my opinion the worst barracks troop in the game. Number 9, 8, and 7. Wall Miner, Raider, and Supply Vehicle. Now I couldn't really figure out which one of these I wanted to put ahead of each other. That's because they are all utility troops, meaning they do one specific job for example, wall miners are excellent at destroying walls, but after they destroy a wall, they deal a little damage to everything else. Raiders deal excellent damage to resource buildings, but deal okay to other types of buildings. And defenders. And well, supply carts only heal your troops and do not attack. I didn't want to rate them any higher due to them only having one gimmick. They're not bad to say, it's just I feel other things can do better. Number 6, the ranged infantry. These guys' sole purpose is for destroying defenders, but once they reach the industrial age, they actually deal some pretty decent damage to buildings. So they're pretty good all around once they reach that point. The problem with ranged infantry is that they get outshined by other ranged units like mortars, MRLs, rain siege, but mainly by mortars as they can do splash damage and have longer range. They are very good early game, but once you reach higher ages, they are a better option for ranged units. Number 5, the Heavy Cavalry. In my opinion, the Heavy Cavalry is a very good early game unit. Just helps tank damage due to the lack of ballista towers in early game, while letting ranged units deal with buildings and defenders, but after a while they start to fall off due to heavy tanks being tankier and dealing way more damage, but overall not a bad troop. Definitely use this troop in the early game, it will save you some headaches. Number 4, the Heavy Infantry Unit. The Heavy Infantry Unit is the definition of versatile. You need to clean up some buildings, use Heavy Infantry. You need to distract buildings or distract the, those force defenders so they don't spawn right on your main force, use Heavy Infantry. Overall, Heavy Infantry is great for just about everything. With their moderate hit points and their great damage to buildings, that is why I think they deserve the number 4 spot. Alright, moving on to our top 3. And first off, let's start off with number 3. The Rain Siege. Man, is this thing just amazing. It has a very long range and can deal excellent damage to any type of building. Not only that, it goes after any type of building, so it's not specific to just resource or all defensive buildings. The only problem with Rain Seeds is that it cannot defend itself against defenders. So as long as you bring anything that can deal excellent damage to defenders, you're good. A few examples are mortars, ranged infantry, or any type of tank unit that can tank damage in the front. Alright, moving on to number 2, the mortar. You guys must be very surprised that I put Mortar as number 2. As you may know, Mortar and Artillery is my main strategy. Mortar is making up the bulk of the strategy. But I have my reasons for putting the Mortar's number 2. Mortars have excellent range just like Rain Siege. Just one less as long as you get all the upgrades for it. Mortars deal excellent damage against defenders. Actually they have the best damage against defenders in the game. And thanks to their Mongolian buff, for World War, these things are an absolute unit with that attack speed. The only weakness of the mortar is that they have low hit points. They do not have the best hit points, they cannot tank. 
But overall, mortars are a very great troop and probably one of the best strategies in the game right now. Moving on to number one, the helicopter. The helicopter, it is super versatile. And I can't think of a weakness for this. It has such great versatility. If you need to deal with defenders, it can has its machine gun. If you need to deal with buildings, it has its normal attack. This thing is an overall a very good unit. So that is my number one spot. And on that note, what do you guys think of my ranking? Do you guys agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.